What's up? Matt from Fab here, back working on the Mini today and I've got some high-tech goodies from AIM Technologies. So if you've been watching the videos uh, for a long time you might remember um, AIM sent me a lap timer data logger and um, camera system for this one, that's an AIM Solo 2 DL data logger which I've been using for the past probably a year and a bit and it's been a great addition to that car and also like helping to improve my driving and they've now sponsored me this PDM setup. What this will do is it will run all the electrical systems in the car. You don't have any fuses, relays, anything like that. This controls everything. It also logs everything. It monitors every output. It also logs lap times. Uh, it's also a digital dash. And on top of that, I've got, this is the keypad. So this is a canvas keypad and you can program these keys to do anything you want. They can be toggle, momentary, you can have it so that you press it for one second, it will have one function. You press it and hold it, it will have a completely different function. Everything's completely programmable within the uh, software. And then I've also got this little contraption, which goes with these. And that is a tire pressure monitoring system. Monitors the temperature and the pressure of the tires while you're on track and then I'll have that displayed on my dash. So you can pick and choose exactly what you want to display on your display. You can pick and choose exactly how you want to configure this. It simplifies the wiring massively as well. So Uh, this is the eight output PDM. I didn't really need many outputs for the Mini because it doesn't have a lot of stuff on it. They do an eight or a 32. Any kind of road car, really, you're gonna need the 32. This isn't gonna be enough. And then the screen, they do a six inch or a 10 inch screen. I did contemplate getting the 10 inch, but I just thought it'd look a bit ridiculous in the Mini. So I went for the six inch. Uh, I've also got an isolator switch and a battery to mount. So I want to get all this mounted, make a mount for the dash and then mount all this other stuff on the floor next to the driver's seat. Right, so I think I'm going to just mount the PDM onto here, like that. My little um, tyre monitoring system there. Uh, the keypad I'm going to try and mount here somewhere. I was thinking that would just go on there as well, but I'm not going to be able to reach it. It literally needs to be sort of right back here. Um, and then I've got the isolator as well, which I need to be able to reach from my seat when I'm fully strapped in. So maybe I'll make a mount that holds this and the isolator. So yeah, PDM there, that there, keypad here, isolator switch. Down here somewhere, the dash that will come off of here. It will have some adjustment up and down, side to side, so I can get it exactly where I want it. And if I remove the steering wheel, I want to be able to just make some fine adjustments to that.
Right, so this is the uh, that's the half for the keypad. Isolator sits in there, so that will get riveted to that. The cable pull will go through that hole there, through that slot, and then the cable will be connected into that little hole there. Right, this is uh, bolted down. I just installed it all with some rib nuts. Position of it is perfect when you're sat in the car. And uh, yeah, happy with that. Still haven't decided where the battery should go yet, but I'm gonna get on and um, start wiring it up now. This is um, my spreadsheet I've put together for the wiring. Got the pin number. This is everything that is listed on the AIM instruction manual. So I know what each pin does. This is the wire size that I'm using to go to each pin. And then this is everything that I'm connecting to it. And it's all color coded to the color of the wire to make it really easy to you know just follow each one put the wire in and having this just makes makes it all simple and I've got little notes to say this is going to the front of the car that's going to the ECU connector uh, rear of the car so just by having this as a guide it makes the wiring really easy I can print it out laminate it and then you know have it with the car so if ever I do have an issue I can just look at it and easily trace everything so it takes a bit of time but well worth it right so I've um, I didn't film this because I've been doing it just at home it would be quite tedious to watch I would imagine I probably spent more time creating that chart and planning it out than I did actually putting this together um, I bought these Deutsch connectors and I've also bought a heat shrink with glue on the inside and then it's all covered in this braided nylon stuff which um, looks quite good I think. The end result looks semi-professional. So this will go off to the front, still need to finish that. This just goes off to the back of the lights. That one's to the fog light and then I put this in which will be um, 
like a fuel sender, fuel level. I don't know whether I'll have that. I think it'd be nice to have. This is some inputs going into the PDM. Two channels for brake pressure sensors and then just two spare ones for anything I might want to add later, a later date. This plug goes to the tire pressure monitoring system. Would have been nice to uh, label it, but I don't have a label printer, but I know I know based on where it's going to be laid out, where everything goes anyway, so not a big deal. So that that is now ready. I should be able to plug that in and actually power this thing up. I've also redone the ECU loom. This came with a basically a, a pre-made loom and it had a lot of stuff in it that I didn't need, but it also didn't have some stuff in it that I do need. So, so I want the, the ECU to read everything from the engine um, rather than having different sensors like you would have a sensor running back to a specific gauge. This has a canvas connection to the PDN, so if, as long as this reads everything I need it to read, you've got um, you know two wires going to the PDN, and it will transfer all that information across. So. This, what the only thing I was using on this loom was coil, throttle position, and crank sensor. That's literally all it uses because it's carbureted. Um, there were extra wires in there for injectors and it was sort of a generic loom for different engines. So I now have coolant temperature, oil temperature, and this should be oil pressure, but as you can see, I was having issues with it. I bought one of these oil pressure sensors off eBay and uh, it actually doesn't work at all, doesn't do anything. So I think given that this is a pretty vital sensor, then, you know, I'll just buy a uh, something decent. So the oil temp, oil pressure and coolant temp will zap straight across to the PDM through just this one plug here. And then the PDM has, to the dash, just has one cable. So it, it's all very nice and neat. This will probably get mounted under the dash area somewhere, just to allow this to reach everything that it needs to reach. Right then, I've got all this uh, wired in, not finished. Um, I've got my ECU mounted up under there. Loom going out through there. This loom's obviously got to go out through there as well. This loom needs to go out through the back. I've got my laptop connected, which will read information from the ECU. Dash is installed and looking sweet. So this red wire will come from my um, isolator it's alive so I have programmed this kind of um, I've got my so I know my ignition permanent feed is number seven. Number two is my ignition live. This is going to be my ignition one. Changes color when you press it. Number two is now live. So I now know I've got power going to my ECU. Um, I've got information coming up on the dash. So this is all the information from the ECU. So I can see the ECU is reading. Um, so I should be getting a coolant temperature sent, uh, value and an oil temperature value coming through on here. And uh, I'm not getting anything. So let's check that. Right, so I've um, been through all my wiring and um, I can sort of move the throttle you know, I've pointed a heat gun at the temperature sensors and just put a bit of heat to verify that the laptop's reading 
uh, you know, the information that it should be, which it is. Look at that, that's cool. Yeah, so I'm still not getting um, anything coming through. Should have my TPS, oil temp, water temp, that should be reading what I'm seeing on the laptop. I've got my tire temperature readings up here. Obviously one's reading 24, the rest are reading 25. It's definitely not 25 degrees in here. I've um, had this thing like in my hand for about a couple of minutes and it's not changed anything on there. So I don't know whether this has to be under pressure in a wheel to activate it and turn it on. Um, so that's obviously something I need to work out. But if I unplug the little receiver box, That means that the receiver box is obviously transmitting information. The guys at AIM are really helpful. I've been chatting to a guy called Frank who's on their technical team. I'm sure he'll have this transmitting what it's supposed to in um, a couple of minutes. It'll only be something simple. So I just need to say massive thanks to AIM Technologies and the guys there for um, sending me out this kit to install and try out. Um, this car from the start was always gonna be a budget build. I didn't think I would have this level of equipment going into this car. So thanks AIM, much appreciated. One last thing to do. So if you are um, looking for any of this kind of stuff, if you're building a race car, then head over to AIM shop and um, see if they've got anything you need. That's going to be it for this one. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one.